Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video today will demonstrate utilizing the Ethernet Management Bus and accessing the branch gateway over a single remote access SAL session to the S8300D installed within it. In the Communication Manager 5.2.1 and earlier, there is a function that allows for an SSH or Telnet connection to be made to the branch gateway that houses it. That function uses an internal VLAN known as the Ethernet Management Bus, or EMB. The S8300 and the Media Gateway Processor in the old releases used IP addresses of 127.1.1.31 and 11. These have now been deprecated since System Platform 6.0. They have been replaced now with 169.254.1.31 and 11, respectively. So why is this important? When the system is remotely accessed over a secure access link, SAL connection, starting an SSH connection would not be necessary, troubleshooting time is reduced, and several extra steps are not needed in that process. Secondly, misconfiguration of the gateway address can make the gateway inaccessible. And this procedure may be the only way to restore connectivity. What is listed on the upper half of this page are two sets of procedures that relate to the system platform release 6.0 and the 6.2 release. The key piece to notice is the 6.0 procedure requires a double login and adds a significant amount of time to the maintenance process. The System Platform 6.2 is a one-step process assuming that IP forwarding is enabled in the DOM0 virtual machine. I will demonstrate what the process looks like with the IP forwarding enabled and disabled. You will see how to enable IP forwarding so the functionality will work after it is enabled. Please note, the steps listed in the 6.0 section can be used up to installing System Platform Service Pack 6.0.3.4.3 or later. As listed, if you need to access a gateway in the System Platform 6.0 environment, that service pack removed the outbound SSH capability from Domain 0. Before the actual demonstration, I would like to illustrate what the EMB is and where it is in the gateway architecture. The illustration of the branch gateway architecture takes a bit of poetic license with the real method of how the EMB functions. The EMB in reality is part of the layer 2 switching shown in yellow. The logical connection however between the S8300D media server and the media gateway processor is illustrated by the blue line connecting the two functional components using the layer 3 169.254 address noted earlier. We will now move on to the demonstration. We are now seeing the Linux shell of the Communication Manager 6.2 implementation. I have entered the SSH command to attempt to connect to the Media Gateway Processor address of 169.254.1.11 using the Avaya Reserved login of init. After a period of time, the connection times out as the IP forwarding function has been turned off for this demonstration. To enable the IP forwarding function, that has to be performed in the Domain Zero virtual machine, also known as the Zen hypervisor. We are starting a second PuTTY session and logging into the Domain Zero's external address using the customer login of admin. The admin login has fixed permissions to enable the IP forwarding function. Upon successful login, I am entering the command string of IP forwarding enabled. The hypervisor responds with IP forwarding enabled, indicating that IP forwarding was not previously enabled. I have switched back to the original screen, which is a communication manager shell where I am still logged in. I have re-entered the same SSH command that previously failed, but this time it is forwarded through domain zero and I am getting the ASG challenge from the branch gateway. Successfully addressing the challenge, I am able to enter the DIR command in the branch gateway or any other command the init login has permission to use. If we take this one step further, 
The same functionality can be used with other logins that are not ASG challenged. I am back into the CM shell but have modified the SSH string to use the customer administration login of root. The command has successfully accessed the gateway. Upon entering the correct password, I have the ability to administer the gateway as needed. As shown, I can enter the DIR command and any other functional commands that would be needed. As just shown, the functionality displayed here also extends to business partners and customers. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.